Hello everybody, and welcome to your indie snapshot for today of The Floor is Jelly. Prepare yourselves, a lot of gushing is ahead. Every once in a while I'll hear about a game or come across a game that has a generally interesting concept, uh, but sounds pretty simple at its core, I don't expect it to blow me away, and I will, you know, kind of go into the game and not expect much. But upon playing it and upon experiencing what the game is giving me, I am utterly floored by its artistic direction, how good it feels, how good it sounds, and how much fun I'm having with something that sounds too simple to allow me the amount of fun that I'm having. One of the, the more recent examples of this was a game that made it into my top 10 indie games of 2013, and that was Proteus. Proteus was a very simple concept, there was very little gameplay in fact to Proteus, if, if you call it a game, you know, a lot of people would argue that it's not a game. Um, but I had a really good time with Proteus, the simplicity blew me away, and I enjoyed the hell out of what it presented, and The Floor of is Jelly is that kind of game. It, that's, it's much more of a game than, say, something Proteus is, it's actually a, a, a physics-based platformer, um, but the idea is you're just a simple little creature that is getting from one window to another. There is no explanation as to why you're doing it. There is no story as to what's going on. A lot of it is just kind of you trying to figure out, you know, what maybe the artistic direction is trying to tell you. But the big kind of changing factor in the game is the floor is jelly. It is a bouncy material that you can jump up and down on, and you can gain momentum and lose momentum if you jump at the right and wrong times. And the music, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it plays, everything comes together in such a beautiful way. And I am having such a good time with this game. So, I'll play a little bit, I'll talk about it, and I will tell you that there is a link below for you to go pick up this game. It is going to be $10 uh, on his website and the Humble Bundle store. I'll be sure to link both of them. And let's play a little bit. So, I've already been playing quite a bit. Um, I've already kind of come across a few levels. And we're currently in a, in a water level. Now, the game does something really smart in that it attempts to introduce new mechanics to the game um, often. And the new mechanic in this set of levels is the water. And that's good, because the water itself actually adds an interesting dimension to the game, because it basically reverses gravity. You might as well be playing with reverse gravity with this. Um, when you're under the water, you're constantly trying to float to the top, so you're trying to constantly keep yourself, um, you know, basically up and above. And then you're above the water and you kind of have, you know, normal gravity. Um, as you can see, um, you are able to gain a lot of momentum. If you jump at the wrong time, I can kill my momentum. And the jelly itself is friggin' gorgeous the way it moves. It's so fluid, it looks really good. Um, the color the color palette this guy uses for this game is also so simple, but so beautiful. It looks so, so, so good. It's a simple flash game, which is what boggles my mind. You know, a simple flash game can be s so much fun. Um, and, you know, another example of a Flash game that was, you know, kind of blew a lot of people away is The Binding of Isaac. Simple games, man, that built on a simple engine are, are a great deal. So, the idea here is to get to the window. As you can see, that window is right there. These little spiky things, as you can probably assume, are generally just bad. Oh, we have, uh, come under the water. So you try to find out your way around it. It's very much simplistic puzzle design as well in a lot of what this game is trying to do. But when you die, you kind of lose all progress, so you kind of set back. So we're going to have to go all the way back and try and find our way around. Um, one of the things that the game is is definitely notable is that it's, you will, depending on your machine, should I say, there's a good chance you're going to notice frame drop. He has stated that in the email that he wish he had time to finish the optimization. Oop, I think I got myself stuck in the jelly there for a second. Um, but he hasn't been able to optimize it perfectly yet, but the optimization patch is going to be coming very shortly after release. So if you do notice frame rate drops while you play, um, you are gonna, you're not, you're not gonna have him long, because he's gonna do his best, oh god, he's gonna do his best to, to fix those and patch them pretty quickly. I personally have not noticed any frame rate drop at all, um, I'm noticing a little bit now, but that's because I'm running fraps and, whoa, I glitched myself, that's interesting, um, I'm noticing frame rate drop now, and that's just because I am playing, uh, I am playing on a, uh, with fraps on, and fraps, Certain, certain games are don't play friendly with Fraps, to be honest with you. Fraps tends to drop the frame rate of a few games that I play on a regular basis and record. Project Zomboid being one of them. Um, whoa, okay, we did it. Project Zomboid being one of them. Um, so I'm not terribly surprised that, it, that it's dropping frames. 
Um, what I am surprised is that, you know, because it, I guess it's because it's such a simple looking game, you wouldn't expect it to drop frames like it does. Uh, but it does. Uh, only when I'm running fraps. Now, I don't know how it would work for pretty much all of you guys. Damn it. Um, but I would expect maybe a little bit of frame drop here and there. So right now we're trying to build some momentum. The water automatically, like I said, ejects you towards the top. So we're trying to build up momentum and then drop and just build up a ton of momentum to be able to bounce ourselves to the top and get to this window over here. Now it looks like we want to be a little bit careful. Um, it looks like we're going to have to be one of those situations where we, there we go, jump down and jump up. Um, let's, uh, let's kind of try, oh god, we got to bounce ourselves against the wall there just a little bit. Oh god, can we, there we go, alright, good. Now again, this game is not going to win any awards for its character design and everything. It's obviously very just simple shapes. What, what really draws me here is the gameplay, the, the bright, vibrant colors, and something that really tugs at me for some reason, and it's, it was the same way with Proteus, is the music. The music is so dumb relaxing. I, it's dumb. I was say so stupidly relaxing. Um, I have... I don't know why... Oh, then I'm dead. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely adore the music of this game. It is, oh god, it's such good mood music, mood music, and it fits the levels perfectly. Like, the music changed for uh, this water level stuff, and it changed into this, this like, solo, kind of almost sad guitar, and it, and it, and it works so, so well for, for this level. You know, and a lot of people are going to be like, well, Matt, this, I really want to know about the gameplay. Like, talk about the gameplay more, but there's not a lot to talk about. Let's be honest, this game is not a complicated game. It is a physics-based platformer. Um, it has a lot of... It, it's responsive. It's quick. There's no... It says it's a flash game. There's no native controller support. Um, so I am using the keyboard, but I've had no problems using the keyboard so far. Usually platformers, you kind of want um, to use a controller. But honestly, with this one, I, I for some reason, I've had no problems with the keyboard uh, at all. And it's been... It's worked really nicely for me. Um, so far, the idea is that it seems that every single level set... He throws new ideas at you, and that's really important when it comes to platformers, especially quick rapid-fire levels like this has been producing. Um, the reason that's important is because you don't want to get bored. And once you move on to the next one, then hopefully he'll introduce a new, a new um, mechanic to play with outside of just the jelly floor. The first, the first set of, of levels was literally just jelly floor, and, and each level is very slowly introduced to you the idea of challenges to get around. Um, how to, you know, it didn't say a word, which is actually, uh, you know, kind of speaks to the great ge game design at hand here. Um, the first few levels of the game literally were tutorials, but they didn't say a word to you. It expected you to figure it out. It set up a level, the level incredibly intelligently for you to figure it out. Uh, but you figured out how to maneuver, and it just taught you the way the jelly works. Um, whether it be visually, whether it be through animation, um, and, and how and it, it slowly introduced how water worked, how these little spike things are quite obviously dangerous. You don't even need to, the game to tell you that in order to figure that out. Um, so just a lot of really solid... Uh, simple game design that would, uh, that has, um, whoop, alright, that has just taught you how to play the game without actually giving you any tutorials, and that's something we don't see a lot of anymore. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go this, when you touch the wall, he actually kind of automatically creates friction with the wall, this little creature. So, we're gonna go ahead and build some momentum. Boom. And we got to fly our way up. And now we can get out of here. And, oh, we hear some frogs. Nice ambient noises sometimes. We're very much in a swamp-ish area, or at least that's what I'm kind of expecting. Then again, there's a lot of ocean here. Some really, and the level design in this game has also been really good. A lot of, uh, there's actually uh, a couple parts where I found alternative exits, so look for secrets, because um, I have found a couple. The, uh, the level design, though, is good. It really makes you think about what you need to do next and how, how to go about it. And it's very, very intuitive in its, uh, in its puzzles. It's, the puzzles aren't hard. But you can figure them out, and then it's just the process of actually being able to perform them. We're going to go up and then down. And oh, that was what I was hoping there was I was going to be able to bounce my way out. So we're going to go ahead and do... Woo, is that, hopefully? How about that? Nope. How about... What if we do a little bit of, like, trampoline bouncing? Come on. There we go. How about that? Did that work? Yeah, that should work just nicely. So we want to come out this way, I'm assuming. Woo! I assume, anyway. Did I fuck that up? I wonder if I fucked that up. 
Um. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, all right. So I, I assume. Where's the where's the the window? Let's see if we can find the window here. So that's the window we came through, right? The window I'm assuming is up there somewhere. Yeah, let's go because we could go back if you really want to. You can go back through levels. Yeah, this is where we came through. So we want to kind of come back down here and see what we could find. I'm curious. I wonder if I went the wrong way. Oh, look at this. So off to the right, there's obviously something. Let's see if we can go over there. Oh, maybe I was just like overthinking it last time. The way the world moves, by the way, with the jelly floor, it just is awesome. I love it. Oh, we found it. This is the end of the level set. You can see a little door over there. So what we're going to go do is go to the end of this level set. And uh, we'll... I'm curious what what the the idea behind the windows and the door is. Very artistic, and I just I don't quite. I'm curious. It's like an elevator that he's gonna go through, and then we pop out. Oh, okay. So you can see there's a glowing thing. So that little glowy bit. So this is like the overworld, by the way. I probably should have mentioned this before. There's an alternative, all kinds of alternative uh, windows and stuff that you could pick all around here. And so I picked that water level last time. And it seems like it made that big giant statue thing with three holes in it. It made one of the circles glow in it. So I'm assuming there's three level sets that you're going to have to go through. And then they all have, hopefully, their own unique mechanics. And then that will open up to maybe the final one. Um, but this is also another, like, the overworld is great. It's quiet. All you hear is the echoing of the crickets and the frogs. And your jump has an echo to it. It has a sense of, uh, of loneliness, almost. But let's see if we can find another set. Let's see, can we go up here? No. Sometimes the jelly floor can actually hinder you too, which I like a lot. Uh, if you're jumping too close to the edge and the, and the jelly floor becomes too um, kind of bouncy, it can completely fuck you. All right, that, that window I think is one I came through. But let's go through it. Yeah, let's uh, go this way and see if we could find another level set over here. Now this one, with the circles around it, I think I have been through? I don't know what the circle around it means. Let's go through it though. Maybe it's what it wants me to do next. Whoa. A little bouncy jelliness. If we go up here. Oh my god, I love the way this game looks and sounds and feels. It is so simple. It is so, so, so simple, but it plays so well and it's such a ridiculous amount of fun. Just playing with the jelly floors is almost like jumping up and down on your bed when you're a kid. You know, it just that it's that inherent fun that is uh, that is had when you're able to just jump up and down and, and build your own momentum, or like a trampoline, a really really nice big trampoline. I remember jumping on those a lot when I was a kid. Uh, how much fun those are! That sense of entertainment is here. Is that what is this? It's another level set. Aha! Here we are. I don't even know what this is. This is cool looking. Nighttime. Let's go through a window. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. As we run through, we grow the trees. Oh, and that music. That music. So good. What is that? Let's grow all this. Okay. What is that, like a tapeworm? Is it following me? It is following me. Let's go through this window. Yeah, it's gonna follow me, alright. Oh, okay. I need to get two of them, and it'll fill it up. So now we gotta get our way over this thing, so we're gonna have to... Jump, jump. There we go. That's easy, we can do that. Alright, we got another little snaky thing. Up, 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 down, and then uh, through. Look at, just, this, this is a perfect scene. The, the way this just looks. There's nothing, that's what's blowing my mind here. 
there's nothing special about this. The way it looks, other, well, there's nothing complicated about the way it looks. It's simple shapes with simple colors and a little bit of light raining out of it. But the way it all comes together, the, the perfect combination of the colors, I love it. I love it. I don't know why, I just do. So that ribbon is going to snake tape, tapeworm thing is going to go ahead and open up this. We'll go ahead and go through. We get sucked into space. And that's going to bring us to this next part. All right, let's uh, go to this window over here and move on our way. We're going to manipulate the jelly thing. Oh, uh, can we do it? All right. So we're going to have to be very careful. All right, good, good. Just go all the way down. Eh. And I like growing these plants. I don't know if it's useful remotely or if it's adding to the music, but it is awesome. Go ahead and grab all this. We got... I don't know what I just did there. Oh, I got another one, so they're following me. Now, I could go through the windows here. Oh, I just died. So we'll go through this, this little window here. See how there are two windows, alternate exits? I'm not entirely sure what that means or what that means for me, but... Presumably... I don't know, actually. Let's go through here. Presumably, it just uh, there will add different parts of the level that we want. Oh, I was trying to get that. Let's see if we can do it this way. There we go. Now the question is, is there anything down here? No. Sometimes worth checking. Alright, so we've got, looks like one more window. Up this way. Ooh. We've got at least one there. Oh. So you gotta play it careful sometimes. You don't want to always mess with the jelly. You can't handle this jelly. Ugh. Oh no! I wonder if... There we go. We can just jump up the wall over here. Now, how do I want to do that? Up, up. Can we do some jumping? Up. Uh, Nope. Alright, let's be smart about this. That's a checkpoint, at least, which is always good. Let's see if we can... I kind of want to explore up the rest of this level. I assume there's got to be more. The butterflies or moths or whatever they are look awesome. There is another window over here. See? That's what I, was, that's what I thought there was. Let's go up this way. Ugh. We'll go up. Oh, no. Died. Ugh. Sometimes, like, because the floor is jelly, you kind of can gain momentum accidentally. And it can end up killing you. Just gotta be... Sometimes you have, to, it, you have to learn when you need to be extremely precise with your jumps or when you can have a little bit of fun and, and enjoy the physics. Sometimes, like here, you need to be incredibly precise. And we're having a little bit... You probably can't notice it because it's only... I'm running at 47 frames here. Uh, and YouTube only does 30. Um, but I'm noticing a frame drop from 60. So let's go through here. And they're all going to go up there. Ooh, we missed one. So we'll see if we can find the last one. We gained a bunch there. I wonder if there's another window. I bet, I betcha, I betcha. Let's go through here. Rather, let's go through here. I wonder if that extra doorway had a, like one that we missed. Oh, uh, well, uh... Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I gotta, I gotta jump later. I could just not jump at all, but... I wanna look pro. Next eSport. The floor is jelly. Yeah, this, this one right here. This little, little dingly dings circling it. There's one right there. Oh no! That's fine. Alright, we could try to jump up the middle here, which might be smart. Let's wait for the floor to stop wobbling. Wobble dopple. Let's go ahead and now we can get out of here. Yeah, we can actually just probably just end up going back the way we came my assumption, and it should be fine. 
See right here, right there. That's what I'm talking about with the jelly floor kind of giving its corner, giving way. Gotta be careful of that. Oh, this game is beautiful. This game is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I think down here we can just go this way. Maybe not. This is the wrong way, maybe. Oh, my, my navigation skills are going to get me lost. Um, it's up here? Well, maybe not. Let's just go through here. Let's see where we can go. Um, eh. Alright, let's, uh, maybe we go back? Maybe I'm wrong? It's just... Mm. I thought we could just go back. I thought it would be a simple, <laughs> a simple venture. But not for Mathis, because I am awful with directions. There we go. Had to, had to start leaning in my momentum off a little bit earlier. Well, we, sh we could probably just go through the entirety of the level if I wanted to make it easy on myself. Oh. Ah. Let's go ahead and up. Let's just, you know what? Let's just go through the level. Let's go up. And we'll just start flying through it. Because we don't need to go anywhere other than the exit, so we might as well just be smart about it. And just go. Down, through. Down and through. Oh, it brought me back here anyway. Well, we can grow these plants. <laughs> and can we... Gotta be careful. Wait, what? Is that how it was supposed to go? I'm confused. Uh, was I... Maybe I'm supposed to go through here? That's where I was. Alright, let's... Oh man, I'm getting lost now in the overworld. Maybe up. We go up and around this. Maybe not. Let's go down. Let's uh, be a little bit more careful. Then we can jump up this way. Well, that did nothing. Eh. Come on. Oh, I could play this all day. I think I will, actually. I think once I'm done with this, I'm going to just go enjoy the floor's jelly. Aha! We found it. So that should be the last one. Yep, and there it is. So we'll, uh, we'll go through this door, see what the next part is. Um, I'm thinking, though, we've already been going on for 22 minutes. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up here. This is going to be an energy snapshot for the floor's jelly. If you're into platformers, if you're into beautiful simplicity with really solid game mechanics and really well done physics, please check it out. It's $10. I will link both the Humble Store and his normal website down below. I think the Humble Store will have a 10% off for its first week or whatever. This is a really fun game and again, well worth it. And one of the really early 2014 games that I've fallen in love with for some reason. Um, I really think I've fallen in love with this beautiful simplicity. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, dropping a like, dropping a comment below really helps me out. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. And as always, I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.